Hi everyone. This tutorial will show you how to use Salsa with Randomize, with the dialog system, and also how to use entry tags. I've imported Salsa and the dialog system into a new project. I've also prepared a scene with a player character, an NPC, and a dialog manager. The dialog manager points to a simple dialog database with a single conversation. The NPC has a conversation trigger so we can test the conversation. And we've taken this conversation from the Salsa Ethan demo. The first step to incorporate Salsa is to import the support package in third-party support. This adds two sequencer commands, Salsa and Eyes. We'll use both in this tutorial. We'll also work with Salsa's version of the Ethan model, since it's already set up with facial blend shapes and Salsa components. For information on setting up your own models, refer to Salsa's documentation. So let's open that demo and grab Ethan. We'll paste him into our scene, deactivate our NPC, but grab his position, and move Ethan into that position. Now we need to scale him so that he fits properly in our scene. He also has a camera that we don't need, so we'll delete that. Ethan's animator controller plays a full body animation that's appropriate for the demo scene that comes with Salsa, but we want him to just idle. So we'll use a simple animator controller that does nothing but idle. And now we also need to add some kind of a physics component so our player's selector can target him. His salsa and randomized components are set up to broadcast a bunch of things in the demo scene that we don't have in our tutorial scene. So let's untick those broadcast checkboxes. Finally, add usable and conversation trigger components. And let's test this out. Okay, now we need some voice clips. Create a folder named Resources anywhere in Assets. We'll drop in this clip.
Look, maybe we can get past the patrol robots and maybe we can't. If we don't try, we'll never make it through those doors. Now edit the conversation. And inspect the first line. Set the sequence field to camera close up, which does a close up of Ethan, salsa, and then our clip, which plays that clip through the salsa component on the speaker. If you wanted to play it through a different game object, you'd specify the name of that game object as a second argument. And eyes. focuses the randomized component on the speaker on player slash head, which is the location of the player's head. The arguments for salsa and eyes are documented in the online documentation. If you also want to switch to a specific facial shape, such as a frown or a smile or whatever is defined on your character, you could use a third argument in the eyes command to specify the name of that facial shape with an optional fourth parameter to specify the duration to hold that shape. Now let's try this conversation. Look. Maybe we can get past the patrol robots and maybe we can't. If we don't try, we'll never make it through those doors. The first line works, but you can see that it'll take a lot of work to set the sequence field for every line. This is where entry tags come in. Open the dialog database and export a voiceover script. This creates a CSV spreadsheet. Each line has a unique entry tag. You can hand this spreadsheet to your voice director or voice actors and ask them to use the entry tags for the voice clip file names. I've gone ahead and done that. Now let's change the first node of the conversation to salsa entry tag. And we can get rid of this line. Look, maybe we can get past the patrol robots and maybe we can't. If we don't try, we'll never make it through those doors. To make our lives even easier, let's go to the dialog manager and change the default sequence to salsa entry tag. This way, we don't need to enter a sequence for each dialog entry. If the dialog entries sequence is blank, it'll use this default sequence. Look, maybe we can get past the patrol robots and maybe we can't. If we don't try, we'll never make it through those doors. I have a hoverboard stashed in the ventilation shaft. I think I can use it to float over the detection grid to the main control panel where I should be able to disable the security scans, then we can pry the doors open and move on to the next area. Are you ready? 
And that's it for the Salsa integration tutorial. Have fun adding voices to your game, and thanks for watching.